Hello. In our previous lesson, we talked about OnOffice API methods and how to create simple macros without having to dig into JavaScript. Today, I would like to demonstrate a quick and convenient way to run your macros. To achieve that, we will create a button from a shape and then assign a macro to it. For reference, we will use a macro combination. Our first macro will provide us with the relevant recent exchange rates and the second macro will use this data to create and build a financial overview chart. To find the currency exchange macro, we need to go to our API documentation page and select plugins and macros. Then we select macro samples and here we choose the currency exchange macro from the list. On the corresponding page we can see the sample code. That's what we need. In our next step we'll paste it into the macros plugin. So we just copy it. Now we paste this code into the OnlyOffice macros plugin and run it. However, we need another macro that will build and insert a chart according to the exchange rates. For this particular purpose, I suggest employing the apply chart style method. It applies a set of visual settings to the chart. To find this method, we go to the API documentation page and then we choose the document builder section and under the spreadsheet API we select the API chart so we pick the apply chart style method and go to the corresponding page what we are looking for here is this example code. So we copy it. Now we paste it. The sample code inserts values into the documents. We delete them. We'll use the values inserted by the exchange rates macro. We will also change the range of the cells by tweaking the add chart parameter. Then we run our macro. I would like to add another feature to our macro combination. In only office you can assign macros to different shapes. This way, we won't need to execute the macro plugin every time we want to run this combination. I want to use a rectangle as a shape. To do that, I go to the Insert tab and under the Shape section I select Rectangles. Then I create a rectangle. Also, I add text to the shape. And I tweak it a little bit. I change the font size the text alignment and I align it vertically. Now I assign the shape to the exchange rates macro. Then I copy the rectangle and paste it. After that I add text to the shape, change the text font and alignment. And I assign this rectangle to the chart macro. Now we can run this macro combination by clicking the shapes. As you can see, making your own office macro is very easy, especially if you're familiar with JavaScript. However, there is always an option of uh, using the example code from our API documentation. You can easily access the API documentation page by scanning the QR code here on the screen. We kindly encourage you to embark on this journey and send us your own macros. 
Also, you might consider visiting our Help Center page. It includes different examples of the online office macros with the code provided. However, if you have any ideas about adding some particular macro samples, feel free to contact us. Also, all the required links and the contact information can be found in the description down below. Thank you for your interest in all of these macros and best of luck in your exploratory endeavors.